here's the Baldwin Gleaner I was thinking about. I, this is, I've been seeing this one for quite a few years. Yeah, you can tell they, they used it. It looks like about a seven foot header. You can tell they've used that there's some chaff, fresh chaff and, on the header. Look at that. Your back went against the hopper. If I had to guess, I'd say that might be a 30 to 30 bushel hopper. We've, I've looked at this now. I've put videos up for three years, but this is the kind of leader, Baldwin leader that I remember. That was subject to some discussion, but uh, I think that's a little dodge industrial heavy. You know, at first we thought that might be a uh, that might be a uh, Chevy, but I think that's a little dodge industrial. But for, for the heck of it, let's see what it's got to say. The Model D uh, when Ellis Chalmers bought out Gleaner in. February 1955, production stopped in favor of the Model 100 All Crop harvest, harvest, Harvester. The leader, as well as other manufacturers, came up with small self propelled combine during the 50s. This machine was available with either a 7 or 10 foot grain uh, table. A corn head was not an option. Four cylinder forward, okay, here we are. Four cylinder forward overhead bowl, valve 172 cubic inches engine was used. The same as the 860 Ford tractor had at the time. 30 bushel grain bin. Uh, I was just guessing. I, you know, I, I, I was just guessing. I may have read that last year and remembered, but anyhow, well. <laughs> Not much for operator comfort, but in those days, not much thought was given to the guy that drove it. Well, thank you.